underscore underscore C decal uh, is a keyword in Microsoft uh, C and C++ which allows to specify the calling convention uh, in uh, C and C++ uh, programs. Uh, we continue to use the same name in our presentation, but in our case, if we want to declare a procedure such as add three numbers and uh, create this procedure in our code, we would typically have to copy and paste and mark it as uh, uh, end procedure and p and uh, here uh, since we're using a um, flat memory model uh, all procedures um, uh, are uh, designated as near 32 and uh, the next uh, portion this is like an attribute that uh, specifies how far the procedure has to be called uh, something that's um, you know opposite to near is far and far jumps require jumping over to another memory segment. Remember, flat memory model says that everything we have is just on one logical big memory segment, uh, which is virtually the same um, address space. In 32-bit world, the space is the size of 4 gigabyte. That's how much address space we have here. And all of our uh, segments stack uh, data and code of course they don't overlap but they reside in the same space so basically here everything is near everything is reachable without without a special manipulation of uh, segment selector registers in order to uh, cross the segment uh, memory boundary so here we are all within the same boundaries so that's the meaning of near 32 and it's just something you can accept and use it in all your uh, procedures in a flat memory model which is most of the applications uh, are using uh, this type of model including high level programming languages that's why we're focusing on this memory model if high level programming languages were using something different then we'd be discussing that with much more attention here we just try to stay uh, a little closer to the platform of high-level programming languages and so here the next attribute is just single character uppercase C and this is specifying the C style calling convention so the keyword in C and C++ is underscore underscore C decal here the attribute that we use with the procedure declaration is C so uh, this calling convention simply uh, suggests that uh, uh, we are trying to describe the procedure which is friendly uh, to be called from C programming language. And uh, of course, you, we can still call this procedure from within assembly call, but this would also be ready to be called from other C functions if we use uh, uh, modules written in C programming language. So the idea is uh, the rules of this calling convention. Uh, so the rules are that the caller pushes parameters into the stack in reverse order right to left. So let's remember that we've actually seen this already in our uh, earlier uh, laboratory exercise. And I believe this was uh, laboratory exercise uh, M12. And so we're in the source code here. What we try to do, let's just open both of the um, uh, C++ file and the C file. So let's just uh, move these things to side-by-side -side view. And uh, so when we were invoking uh, basically string copy right here, so the parameters are destination, source, and the length of the string to copy. But when we were passing these parameters to uh, using assembly, uh, so the parameters were passed right to left. So first, we would have to push uh, uh, how many characters to copy, which is the length of the string, then the source, and then the destination, and not the other way. So that's the idea behind uh, this uh, right to left uh, 
set of parameters. If you don't have any parameters in your procedure, or there's only one parameter, you really don't have to worry about this. But when we have multiple parameters, then we have to worry about in what order we need to push these uh, parameters on the stack before we invoke our function. And not a surprise uh, in the standard C library, which is made available through these uh, directives here to include um, uh, the, our uh, functions available through, uh, through these uh, library uh, files. Uh, of course, they're using C calling convention. And so this is an example of calling a function with uh, arguments. So if the arguments were listed, uh, um, if this function was expecting uh, to use uh, parameters um, in using the C language uh, uh, grammar, then you'd write function argument 1, argument 2, argument 3. But we have to push them in reverse order. Also, important part of the function call Let's just bring this back to a previous view right here, and uh, again look at look at the string copy call. So here is this part that C convention uh, requires that the callee, basically the program that is making the call, is responsible for maintaining the stack. So the string copy in C standard library does not attempt to uh, modify stack uh, stack pointer with respect to like removing these parameters from the stack it doesn't really care it's it's upon return from the call there needs to be some work done to to restore stack pointer to its original state before parameters were uh, pushed on the stack so this is what we say that C library does not remove arguments from the stack. We have to do this manually. Also, uh, function return values uh, um, are returned in register EAX. There could be a few flavors of this. Uh, for instance, we could return a character or a byte. We would still have to return it uh, in the entire EAX register. Sometimes we would have to return an object or some kind of structure, a copy of a structure. Then uh, a C compiler will generate the code which will return address of that structure in memory, of that copy of the structure in memory. And again, it will be returned in register EAX.